Yeah. I thought it would do really well. I didn't think it would blow up, but I thought it would do really well. I'm happy. I'm happy that it did blow up. But the truth is, Tim, what I did is not so special. That's the kind of stuff that should be happening all the time. Folks, uh, Jordan had an interview with Donna Brazil, and that is kind of the interview I think that really puts you on the map with independent media. And people are like, "Wow, this guy." He just took on Donna Brazil. What was going through your mind, Jordan, when you uh, when you had Donna Brazil and you, you had her on the spot, bro? People don't remember. Uh, maybe people remember, but the whole Russiagate thing actually kind of started in the final months of the 2016 campaign, and I I was on I was traveling covering that campaign, so I was living like the the early stages of this Russiagate narrative. So. Before I uh, before I challenged Donna Brazil, I actually this didn't get as many views, but I actually challenged uh, Robbie Mook. Robbie, in these emails, in these in these emails, uh, talk about the TPP. It's been talked about. Uh, we will get eaten alive if we go pro TPP. Uh, your campaign in private email said uh, we need to suck it up. Why should people trust that when she's president, she's not going to flip flop on the TPP? When in private emails, it was talked about. It was very clear tonight. She opposed it when she saw the final language. She's opposed it throughout the campaign. She's going to oppose it. Right, but emails show your campaign. Your campaign was uh, last year about to roll out her support. I can't the Russian government illegally hacked into people's email. Accounts. You keep They've deflecting on that, but the actual emails say that. I can't verify any of the specific email. Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton today verified it. Hillary Clinton today verified it. So, as you see, as you see, uh, we get more uh, deflection onto Russia, which Chris Wallace allowed them to do today. Uh, I asked about the email that is in these WikiLeaks, which is saying uh, we have to suck it up and be for the TPP. And uh, within 10 seconds, he said, we can't verify that and moved on to Russia. A couple minutes before that, and Robbie Mook was Hillary Clinton's campaign manager. And it was like the same thing. I was trying to just ask, like, I was just trying to challenge on, um, ask them questions unrelated to Russia and he just kept pivoting to Russia and how Trump's working with the Russians and this and that. And uh, other reporters were looking at me like I had like, you know, four, four eyes, like, you know, you're not supposed to be actually challenging them. It's supposed to be like we're holding powerful accountable, but not like really. Uh, so by the time I got by the time I got to Donna Brazil, you know, to me, honestly, like I didn't think Donna Brazil passing questions off to Hillary Clinton's campaign. Like I didn't actually think that was like Watergate. I mean, I don't think she should have done it, but right, right. whatever. Donna Brazil is a political operative. She she's a Democratic operative. She ran Al Gore's campaign. Mm -hmm. So to me, like it was something she should be challenged on. Like, you know, what do you have to say that you were kind of tipping off Hillary Clinton's campaign while you were at CNN? But I didn't think it was a scandal. I think she actually I didn't plan on journalistically hammering or hammering, hammering her over the head with the Russia stuff. But she would not answer me. She kept pivoting to Russia. Donna, do you do you owe the voters an apology for passing a question for a town hall uh, off, me, off, off, excuse me, off to the Hillary Clinton me, campaign? You know, you know what? I wish when you got your facts, you read you read the emails and I did read a lot of them. Well, you, you clearly did not read my email, sir. Uh, the v Democratic National Committee, uh, as Secretary Clinton alluded to tonight, was a victim of a cyber crime. You keep and saying that, but the email, the email was that you passed private, it along. Private emails were stolen from individuals right. uh, that had no right uh, being trafficked in the public sphere. And she kept pivoting to Russia. And I think what kind of kicked me into high gear in that exchange with her was when she did this woke shit because right away she started like, oh, you like badgering women. Yeah. And I was like, no, 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 that's not that's not going to fly. Uh, this, but what about you passing a question to Hillary Clinton's campaign, the town hall before? Trump badger women. You're you're welcome. Yes, a journalist asking a question is badgering you. You've said it on Russia. You passed the question. Jake Tapper has also said you passed the question. Do you have anything to say about that? Questions as a contributor to CNN. Well, first of all, let me let me answer the question because uh, as as much as I respect a journalist all my my political life, and uh, I will uh, respond to questions as I've stated repeatedly. 
uh, that the Democratic Party was a victim of a cyber crime. And I don't peddle in uh, the what I call the illegal uh, dumping of private emails uh, in the public sphere uh, that have been altered, uh, that have been, in many cases, uh, uh, readapted. And so, but as, as, I, as, I, as I've stated uh, repeatedly, and I'll state it again for the record, uh, I have never been privileged, as long as I've been uh, not just a part of CNN, which let me just say of how proud I am to have been um, a contributor for CNN and other news outlet. And no one has ever, ever shared questions with any of us uh, involved in uh, CNN as... Uh, Do you have proof uh, that it was Russia? Do you have proof that it was Russia? Sir, as, as we've stated, and the United States government has also stated, and if you would like a copy of the Department of Homeland Security and the information that they uh, released uh, two weeks ago, you're welcome to have it, but I'm sure you have it. But I, since yeah, they also to told us we had WMDs. Well, Why should we trust uh, this? I, I, because we have ample evidence. We've been the victim of a cyber crime. We have ample evidence. We have have ample evidence through our service and through all of the uh, you're a you're a, you're a Democratic Party operative. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, glow in the dark, whatever. Mm. Like you, you know, answer my question. And when she started pivoting to Russia, 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 I mean, maybe it was just because I was traveling, but I I could see Hillary Clinton's campaign was trying in real time to create a post-election excuse. Even though the election wasn't over, I, I could just see the wheels were turning and case. the train was leaving uh -huh, to, uh -huh. to create, to start creating, creating, uh, you know, a fall guy or a yeah. fall country for, for why <laughs> she lost. So, yeah, when she kept on pivoting and almost like regurgitating the same thing, uh, Russia, I don't remember what she said, but, you know, Russia uh, attacked us, Russia attacked us. I, I, I was kind of flabbergasted. And that's kind of what what it comes. That's kind of what we were talking about before with like being yourself, because I just remember I kept on challenging her and trying to get past the bullshit she was spewing. Uh, and I remember looking to the camera, which I think Emma yeah. was doing, and I was just like, Jesus, <laughs> I was just like flabbergasted. And I remember people actually reacting to me looking at the camera like that because it was just like a real moment. Like, can you believe this? <laughs> Um, <laughs> that was that's what made it so funny, man. So so real and authentic was that you look like I can't believe this woman not gonna answer my question. Like, this yeah. answers the question. Yeah. And honestly, honestly, tell you the truth, like I said, I didn't think it was Watergate that she passed the question to Hillary Clinton or passed topics like whatever. I don't think you should have done that. She could have easily diffused it just by saying like, yeah, you know, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, I apologize, and let's move on to Donald Trump is Lucifer. She could have. She could have easily. <laughs> she could have easily yeah, owned it, it. Pivoted. Yeah. But she she kept on pivoting to you know uh, Russia Russia's influence Russia's influence, and that's when I said to her, oh, she started reciting um, the sixteen intelligence agencies that say uh, Russia hacked the DNC, and I actually have a brain. The corporate meet none of, none of the corporate journalists would challenge her, but I'm like, oh, so you're talking about like the Coast Guard. And these other agencies that are included in these 16 agencies that say yeah. Russia hacked the DNC. Uh, and I just, you know, I, I said, um, I said to her, yeah, well, I was told that Iraq had weapons of mass destruction from the same agencies. But the best part of that, Tim, and, you know, it's just hard to get this on camera. You could not see it. But the other reporters that were all in that kind of pit next to me with her. They were looking at me like, what are you doing, man? You're not supposed to do this. And I had that throughout the campaign, Tim. There would be times after, um, I remember Jeb Bush. Remember he ran for like five minutes? <laughs> I remember I was covering a town hall he did. And it was, you know, it was only like 30 people. Very, Trump was right in terms of like actual, not low energy. Low energy, Jeb. And after, <laughs> I just reported the truth. I just said, yeah, I mean, this... Uh, this is my first presidential campaign, but this seems like a losing campaign to me. There's not a lot of energy here. You actually, while Jeb Bush is talking, just observationally, I saw people kind of looking down, looking at their phones, this and that. And you could see like high profile NBC reporters looking at like literally watching me as I did my stand up, they call it, uh -huh. uh, where I'm just into the camera doing a recorded piece that we're going to air later, looking at me. You couldn't tell if they were like jealous in a way, like, oh, this guy's able to tell the truth <laughs> or like, who the fuck is this guy? 
Like, does he not does he not know how this works? Yeah, you don't get to do that. Yeah, you know, make us so look that bad. Happened, that happened a lot on the campaign trail, and uh, I remember that Donna Donna Brazil moment. Actually, there was one as I was challenging her. There actually was one reporter next to me who basically, I guess, like me doing it, gave him permission, and he started uh. following up with her on that. Uh, like, yeah, you know, why did you do that? Um, so yeah, no, honestly, to tell you the truth, you influenced them. <laughs> yeah. To tell you the truth. I, I yeah. remember saying to Emma at the time, let's get out of here and get that out quickly. Cause I thought it would, yeah. I thought it would do really well. I didn't think it would blow up, but I thought it would do really well. I'm happy. I'm happy that it did blow up. But the truth is, Tim, what I did is not so special. That's the kind of stuff that should be happening all mm. the time on, on, but does not happen all the time. You have, you have reporters challenge Biden and others on, uh, you know, basically you're not being hawkish enough against Russia. So sometimes politicians get challenged, but mostly on surface level political horse race bullshit, not really challenged on corruption, their donors, integrity. Um, so what I did, you know, I'm happy it took off, but that's the kind of stuff that in a normal, healthy journalistic system where journalists weren't basically working for multi-trillion dollar corporate conglomerates, right. that kind of stuff would happen all the time. In Britain, journalists are a lot more aggressive than here. Uh, they're a lot more wow. um, kind of naughty uh, in terms of how they <laughs> challenge politicians. Uh, but yeah, that Donna Brazil moment, uh, I didn't know it at the time, but that definitely helped me, you know, take off, so to speak. Did you pass a question to Hillary's campaign uh, for a debate in the head of a town hall with Bernie Sanders? And yes, I did share uh, topics and information.